Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Rebecca with another video. Uh, today, I'm going to do my... Uh, I've been tagged in the fragrance reviewer tag uh, thing that's been kind of floating around. And I was tagged by Mr. Vernon437. So, appreciate that for tagging me. Um, what there? this thing is, if you guys haven't heard about it before, is you get 12 questions. And you just answer them pretty much to kind of get to know you better about the reviewer. And... Uh, so yeah, I was tagged by Mr. Uh, Mr. Vernon four three seven, and I started following his channel a little while back. Um, uh, he uh, he's actually got some really great top ten lists, and introduced me to some fragrances that I thought I would never, uh, I probably wouldn't have found if it wasn't for Mr. Vernon. So uh, I think he introduced me to Shergi and to Frank Number Two, were the probably the, the best two that, of his that I've got my nose on since uh, since then, since I saw his videos. So anyway, so yeah, so this is a, my fragrance reviewer tag video. Twelve questions. Uh, question one: What are your earliest scent memories? Uh, when I was a kid, I mean, there's there's a there's a few, um, but I guess the earliest I can remember is whenever I was a kid. My mom, she's a huge coupon clipper. She would clip coupons and save money. I mean, she would always brag about how much money she saved uh, clipping coupons and whatnot. So she'd always buy like. Like uh, the boxes of like uh, soap, like the Zest and like Dove and all those, and she'd buy them in bulk because she saved so much money. And we lived in apartments when we were kids, and she would sell them uh, to the the neighbors. You know, like the neighbors would come over and give her like fifteen dollars in cash, and she'd sell them soap and body wash and and everything that she got bought in bulk for her, because of her coupons. She uh, she would sell it to them. So she had like this closet in the bathroom that was like four shelves stacked full high of of soap. And um, I remember when I was a kid, I, you know, I, whenever I would like, uh, I don't know, I, I don't know if it was a relaxation thing or something. I, I don't even know why I did it, but I would go in the bathroom, and I remember I would just stick my, I would open the the door to that closet just a little bit and stick my nose in there, and I would just smell all the different um, soaps. And I know that sounds stupid, but like that was probably my earliest scent memory. Really, I was probably like ten or eleven when doing when I did that. But I just thought it smelled so good, and like I, I just it would, I, you know, I close my eyes and just it just uh, smelled really clean and fresh, and I, you know, I, and I found myself doing that all the time, and I really liked it. it. Put me in a good mood for a little bit. It was it was weird, but yeah. So that was my, my probably my earliest um, scent memory. You know, I had a couple growing up too. You know, I had some friends that had cologne and stuff like that. But that was probably my earliest. Uh, question number two. What was your first fragrance purchase? My first that I literally bought for myself, my first fragrance purchase was Preferred Stock by Coty. Um, that was a, uh, I think that was sixth grade. I was my first, uh, first time I wore cologne. Um, and I bought that from Eckerd's. If you guys know where Eckerd's is, um, I live in Texas, so there's, they're not around anymore, but they're pretty much like a Walgreens. Uh, kind of, but it's Eckerd's, and I bought mine from there for like $8 or something with my own money, so I thought that was pretty cool. And uh, my second one to that would be Aspen. I used to love Aspen. Bought it from the same place, a little bit more expensive, but Preferred Stock was my first fragrance purchase as a child. Um, that was That's what I was, that's literally as a kid, my first literal fragrance purchase. Um, <clears throat> I guess my first um, purchase as an adult maybe was... Versace blue jeans. I got this from Marshalls for like twenty five bucks, and uh, real good. One like one of the first fragrances that I ever really tried uh, that I bought, and I really liked this one. I did anyway. You know, back in the day, I still have it, but it's more of a just kind of a throw like a throw around scent. Keep it in your car if you get nothing to put on real quick. Throw this on. It'll do the job for a little bit, a few hours. Um, let's see, number three, my first niche purchase. My first niche purchase i believe was lidge l'instant de guerlain pour homme and if you guys see my first video ever uh back in i think i started doing this back in august or september maybe i can't remember it was it, i haven't been doing this that long but this was like my first i was watching videos way longer than, for a few months before i actually did my first one and this one was one at the time that everyone was talking about so i bought this um I, I literally bought this blindly, and I bought it um, uh, my first niche purchase or whatever. Um, yeah, and so and I liked it. You know, it didn't it didn't compare to some of the other stuff that I've smelled now. Uh, since I bought this one, uh, this one really isn't uh, the the best thing I've smelled. You know, it's not like the best thing since like sliced bread or anything. But like, uh, it's still good. It's just not the best. 
So this was my first niche purchase. I think I bought it for like $89, maybe 90 bucks with shipping. Uh, oh, actually, there was no shipping, but it was like 80, 89, 90 bucks, something like that. You know, came with some, um, came with some free samples and stuff from the the Guerlain House in uh, Toronto or wherever that was in Canada. So that was number three. Question number four: uh, What was my first blind buy? Um, like I said, technically, my first blind buy would be um, blue jeans because I didn't smell that before because there was no tester for that one, and I heard a little bit about it. But I guess I would say. My first blind buy that I got um, just through hearing about it and, and I ordered it over um, uh, on the internet um, would be Dior Homme Intense. Uh, I purchased this one blindly completely. I just really would, just went off all the hype and I liked it. I, actually, I love it. It's still one of my favorites. Still is always going to be in my um, it's always going to be in my collection. Uh, but yeah, this was one that. Um, uh, I just heard about it a lot, and I had to have it, so I just bought it and didn't even know what it smelled like, and I'm glad I did because I like it a lot. Um, that was my uh, first blind buy. My best blind buy, which I guess that would be up there because I still love it, but I think my best blind buy would be number five. My question number five, what is your best blind buy? And uh, this one, I, for some people, probably wouldn't be their best blind buy or even their best fragrance, but... Going off of what I my first um, reaction to when I first smelled this after I got it in the mail because again it was a blind buy, and for the price I guess as well it was a, uh, I mean it's not like super cheap but it's not exactly super expensive, and the quality of the juice was way better than I expected. I thought it was just going to be like a cheap designer fragrance. I thought it was going to be a cheap knockoff fragrance, and I kept hearing people talk about this one. I was like, okay, I got to know what this is about. So number five, what was my best? Blind buy that would be twenty four gold by um, who does this one? Uh, I think oh Scent Story yeah twenty four gold by Scent Story and I still love this one. It smells like raspberry jam on cookies. Uh, it's so good. It's in, it has like sandalwood and some uh, um, some I think it's some sandalwood and some um, incense I think um, and some vanilla and stuff like some amber I believe. But this one's sweet. And fruit, and like fruity, as a sense of like sweet raspberry jam, it's definitely a gourmand, and just smells very, very, very good. And the quality is beyond what the price is worth. Um, but yeah, so twenty four gold. This was definitely my best blind buy. It took me by surprise. I thought it was going to be super cheap. I have a review on this one too. You guys can look back at my archives and check it out. But this one was completely by surprise. You know, I didn't expect it to be as good as it was. So number five, best blind buy, twenty four gold. My worst blind buy. Clearly, I'm not gonna have the bottle because I don't have it anymore. Worst blind buy ever so far, and it cost me like 80 bucks, which is a good price for the, what what it is, the, the the house that it is. But my worst blind buy was Creed Tabarome. Oh my goodness, it had like some ginger in it and some other stuff. Uh, I didn't even want to review it um, honestly because. Um, Honestly, I, I really just wanted to get rid of it, to be honest with you. So, I, you know, I didn't have time to review it. I just, I smelled it. And I, I, you know, that's that's what happens when you, when you, um, when you, uh, when you blind buy something. You know, it's a great price. I figured, hey, it's Creed, and I saw a few reviews on it. Um, and the good thing about 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 uh, fragrances is that if you do blind buy something you don't like it, you can always find someone who does like it. You know, and I found a couple of people that liked it. Um, and ended up selling it off, um, getting pretty much all my money back. So I think I think I lost might have lost ten bucks. But yeah, so my worst blind buy ever was Creep Tabarone. Literally to me, I got no longevity out of it, and um, it smelled kind of like pee, kind of like pee in a you know when you go into the old uh, elevators and you know it's like a really old elevator from like you know it's just been around for a while because it just smells that old pee in the corner. That's kind of what it smelled like to me i tried really bad and i tried really hard to make it work for me but uh but i couldn't do it so yeah it smelled too much like pee to me so that is literally like my first um my first one that actually smells like pee i've heard that about other fragrances but this one i didn't like it that much so number seven what are my first i gotta try to wrap it up i'm already at almost 10 minutes so number seven what are some of my favorite fragrance notes well I, I love gourmands. I love sweet gourmands. So uh, so I really like vanilla, sandalwood, uh, oud, amber, tonka, uh, ambergris, um, uh, anise, and iris. Not ambergris, I'm sorry. I meant anise and iris. 
um, and uh, incense as well, um, but more more sandalwood than incense. Um, and the summer, my summer fragrances, I like citrus, and like bergamot, and lemon, and lemon leaves, stuff like that. But but mainly, my, what my nose really gravitates to is the sweet fragrances, the vanillas and the gourmands. Uh, definitely oud, amber, sandalwood. Those are really the ones that get my attention. Um, yeah. So okay, number eight. What is your favorite house? My favorite house. Probably I have three, so I'll just do all three. Uh, the first one's going to be Tom Ford. I just I, I don't really own too many. I have a lot of their, um, uh, you know, uh, de de I have a lot of their stuff decanted or whatever because uh, it's just so expensive. Uh, but uh, I love his fragrances. I've tried a lot of them, and the quality is top notch. And uh, I like I just love the how they um, how they do their um, their layouts and stuff like that, and their marketing, and uh, the presentations awesome I, I, you know and the price is a price you know you're always going to get you gotta you got you pay for your quality or whatnot you can get it probably cheaper online but i'll stick to decants of those you know but i love tom ford i just like what they're doing over there and their fragrances are so strong and, and you know it's just the oils are really really strong so you know you get what you pay for you get a long lasting fragrance you know um my second favorite house would have to be dior i believe uh, mr vernon said the same thing dior they got some top-notch fragrances um, almost all, I've tried quite a few of theirs and I'm, I'm, I'm always impressed by their stuff. Even their women's perfume, I'm impressed by their stuff too. And, um, of my, uh, honorable mention for favorite house would have to be a new one that I've been doing. If you guys have been watching my videos lately, it's going to be a lab on fire. I did uh, three videos for them already, but I think they're a very underrated house. Yeah. I don't hear too much about them. I definitely suggest picking up uh, a bottle of, uh, what we do in Paris is secret, which is a winter set scent uh fruity and and um sweet and honey uh like and uh liquid night which is like a, 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 a incense type of scent, um, woody aromatic uh warm winter fragrance as well so try both of those out um yeah so that's my favorite house pretty much be tom ford dior uh and uh actually yeah and lab on fire for my honorable mention so i'll do two and then one uh ysl was up there with them too um, uh, what fragrance number nine what fragrance best describes me uh, it's going to be Dior Homme Dior Homme best describes me personally uh, this fragrance is um, clean and uh, very fresh but also it's very um, earthy um, and it's also and it also dry, and later on it dries down to a nice uh, sexy cocoa um, and I mean, I, that's how you can describe me during the day. You know, I like to be clean. I like to, you know, I'm very, I'm very, uh, I like to wash my hands. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, uh, hygiene is very important to me. I like to shower a lot, brush my teeth, wash my hands constantly, carry, um, you know, um, hand sanitizer with me and stuff. So, you know, that, the clean for me comes out in that. I'm very uh, down to earth and very grounded. Uh, I know who I am. I know where I come from. And um, I see things a little differently than most people. I'm not a dreamer, uh, nothing like that. I'm just real grounded. So the earthiness uh, from this fragrance kind of puts that um, in my personality um, for that. And, um, you know, I'm kind of a hopeless romantic sometimes, you know. Whenever I, if I date the right girl, I try to uh, make her happy and try to, you know, I'm a musician. I write, I write love songs. It's what I do. Um, you know, people have told me before that my love songs are, you don't know, hear People write stuff like that, you know, especially in my town, uh, things of that nature. Um, and so that's where the sexy cocoa comes in for me anyway. Like, it, I think it, it resembles me, you know, it's it's clean and, and whatnot. And it's also grounded and rooty and earthy. And this is very uh, uh, sexy at, towards the end of the, uh, towards the end of the uh, fragrance. So, yes, this is probably me in a bottle right here, you know. So, um yeah, number nine, what fragrance best describes you? And that'd be Dior Homme. Uh, what is your favorite fragrance? If it's not this one, I didn't want to say the same thing. Um, you, can you can easily put these two for the same category. But fra favorite fragrance probably that I always go back to, at least for the, for the nighttime anyway, is going to be La Nuit de l'Homme. I still love this one. This is still probably going to always be in my top three for a nighttime fragrance, for sensual fragrances. Uh, for lady killers or whatever you want to call them, this one's always going to be a favorite of mine. So uh, I would pick Dior Homme as my favorite, but since I already put that one before, I'll go ahead and say La Nuit de la Homme. 
And I know that there's a ton and ton of fragrances out there that I haven't smelled yet. So this is just where I'm at now um, from what I've smelled already. Let's see. Uh, I think there's probably a uh, lawnmower going on. So sorry if you can hear that. Uh, number 11, uh, what is your fragrance profile? Uh, my fragrance profile is sweet scents. I like gourmands. Um, I, 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 like for me, it's like a, a fragrance has to be catch my attention first. It's be very unique. Um, that's for the like you know just has to get my, get my attention. Be very unique, stand out from the rest. Um, but it also has to have these three things. It has to have good projection, good longevity, and good um, I guess wearability. Good good um, versatility is a word I guess. Um, I want to be able to use it all the, all the time, you know, and I want to be able to use it a day and night. Um, but, you know, I know that you can't do that with every fragrance, so you have to kind of pick and choose. But that's pretty much what my, my fragrance profile is. That's what I look for whenever I buy fragrances. Mostly it's longevity, though. If it smells good already, it's gonna it's worth the money if it's going to last longer than a, than a few hours, you know. So that's pretty much what I look for first. And um, I like clean smells, um, you know, uh, in, in like citruses and stuff like that winter or the summer fragrances and i like bright bright smells bright citrus clean citrus um you know and uh right now i think what i'm using my my best citrus right now is probably moogler cologne i got that one a few days ago that one does a job really really well lasts a long time it's really clean very good sharp very nice stuff um let's see here number 12 what are my fragrance resolutions uh, my fragrance resolutions, I guess, are going to be, you know, um, I'm not going to go overboard on buying uh, super expensive fragrances. I'm going to start decanting more. Uh, I've been loving this swapping. I've been swapping a lot more lately, so I'm going to start doing that rather than paying for my own. Uh, but also, I like just really more the community, the swapping with people. And, you know, you, I've made some friends doing this frag thing. Uh, I've been doing this for maybe, it hadn't been a year yet, I don't think, at least eight months or something like that. But... I've been uh, doing uh, reviews here for a little while now, and uh, yeah, definitely good community. And it's uh, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna try to keep my my uh, I'm gonna try to keep my my collection to, to I'm gonna try to whittle it down to maybe like my top 30, 25, something like that. That way, um, and then sell off the rest, and then maybe you'll bring in some some decants or some other stuff that I haven't tried yet, and then swap that out or sell it to somebody else if I don't like it, you know. But definitely want to whittle down and have a top 25 or top 30, 35 or something like that. Um, yeah, so that was my, uh, fragrant reviewer tag video. Thank you again, Mr. Vernon 437 for tagging me. Hope you guys get to know, know a little bit more about me. Um, you know, um, and who am I going to tag? That's, I guess, the, um, unofficial 13th question. I'm going to tag a fellow musician, uh, who's living over in the UK, over in London. His name is Jim Quantrell. Quantrell, hope I pronounced that correctly. I've been I subscribed to him a while back, and he has uh, he does reviews, and he's really good at what he does. And he's got the British accent too, my man. Sounding good. I, I, that's like that's if I had an accent, that's what I wanted. I want a British accent. But uh, yeah, so I was gonna, and I, that's gonna be the only one I'm gonna tag. I, I try to find a few other favorites of mine. I messaged them, uh, and they didn't get back to me um, before I wanted to do this video. So um, Jim Jim responded pretty quickly, and so Jim, I'm gonna pass the torch to you. So whenever you get done um, doing yours, tag somebody else that you want to see, and then we'll keep this thing going. But thanks again. My name is Israel from Dollars and Cents. Thanks again, Mr. Vernon, 437, for tagging me. And I hope you guys have a great day. And uh, I'll be back with some more videos, uh, hopefully sooner than later. But uh, until then, you guys take care of yourselves and have a great day. Bye.